Hello, Angie B here again, coming to you from Shay Colleen for a change while I'm house sitting for the next week and a half or so in Eureka. And I know it's been a dog's age since I last did a vlog, but if you remember, the last vlog topic I was supposed to do next is my top five Robert Downey Jr. movies. So this is a really, really hard vlog to do because, as you know, I'm kind of crazy about Robert Downey Jr., a.k.a. Rubber, du Rubber Ducky Jr., and I like pretty much anything he's been in. I mean, even the 80s stuff, which was ridiculous and had crazy hair and crazy clothes and just outright crackiness, I even like that stuff. But I think I've pared it down to my top five Robert Downey Jr. films. Now, caveat, these are not necessarily the films that, like, should have gotten him critical acclaim and awards, although I do think that a couple of them are. These are just the five Robert Downey Jr. movies that I enjoy the most, that I can watch over and over and over again and still love every single time. They're not just good Robert Downey movies, they're just good movies. Okay, to begin the list with number five, Chaplin. Now, this is the movie that got him an Oscar nomination, and it was well-deserved, because he did a fucking amazing job as Charlie Chaplin. If you've never seen this movie, I highly recommend you go out and find it as soon as possible, because the cast is mind-blowingly good. Okay, not only do you have Robert, but you have Dan Aykroyd, you've got Anthony Hopkins, you've got Kevin Kline, Penelope Ann Miller, um, Marissa Tomei, James Woods, and my girl, Mia Jovovich. So you should really check out Chaplin. It's amazing acting. It's a great biopic. It's got tons of emotion, brilliant acting. It's really well done. It was directed by Richard Attenborough, so you should check it out. Number five on my list. Number four on my list is Tropic Thunder. This movie is so fucking hilarious, it shouldn't even be legal. I'm not a big Ben Stiller fan by any means of the imagination. I don't like his movies. I don't like him as an actor. I don't really like him as a writer and director. But Tropic Thunder is amazing, in large part because the supporting cast totally steals the picture. Robert is so good as Kirk Lazarus, a.k.a. Lincoln Osiris. He does the whole movie in this just crazy, stereotypical, incredibly un-PC blackface role. And then if you haven't seen the commentary, he does the commentary in character. It's so funny. He's got some of the best lines. His reactions and his facial expressions are the best. And he gets to be a fucking lead farmer, motherfucker! It's just an amazing movie. It's really funny. Also, Danny McBride is great in it. Um, I even like Nick Nolte. I'm not as crazy about the whole Tom Cruise cameo as a lot of people are. I mean, it's funny, but I don't think it's the best thing about the film. For me, the best thing about the film is Robert Downey Jr., because he's just so funny. And hearing him do all the different accents is amazing. It just shows his range and his ability to do anything. And it's a great comedic movie, which Robert needs to do more comedic movies, because he's just great at it. That was number four. Number three on my list is Sherlock Bloody Holmes. Because, I mean, Robert is sexy as Sherlock, as we all know. Robert's just sex on legs, basically. But he's great as Sherlock because he gets the logic and the cerebralness of the character down. He does a great job with the accent. He's really awesome in the action scenes. He just makes Sherlock so incredibly adorable and endearing in his arrogant assholishness. Also, the whole thing, the whole reason to see that movie is the epically rad bromance between him and Jude Laws Watson, because it's just amazing. Love, love, love that movie. It's so funny, it's really well written, great dialogue. Guy Ritchie did a fantastic job with it. I really love Sherlock Holmes. Number two on my list, Iron Man, because holy fucking hell, Tony Stark is the role that Robert was born to play. He's just, oh, so sexy and so snarky and so badass and yet also vulnerable. He just does the character such great justice. It's also got amazing music, amazing direction. If you want more about me raving about Iron Man, just check out my Iron Man vlog, because I just spent an entire vlog just talking about how awesomely epic this movie is. Love his chemistry with Gwyneth Paltrow as Pepper Potts. Jeff Bridges is fucking fantastic. Terrence Howard is amazing. Another great bromance. Ugh, this movie is so good. I could watch this movie over and over and over again, which I can't say about all comic book movies. <coughs> Dark Knight, cough. Anyway, yeah, Iron Man's number two. 
So after those four, you're like, what the hell could be number one? Those are like the best known Robert Downey movies. Those are like the ones that everyone mentions when they talk about him just being a badass. My number one Robert Downey Jr. movie, Kiss, Kiss, Bang, Bang. This movie is easily in my top five favorite movies of all time because it's just so incredibly good and it's just criminal how overlooked it is. Robert is fantastic as Harry Lockhart, who's a thief turned actor turned private detective. Val Kilmer is amazing as the snarky, sarcastic, jaded, cynical uh, Gabe Harry. Michelle Monaghan's first big movie, and she's amazing in it. Everything about this movie is made of win. Great, great, great witty dialogue and banter thanks to Shane Black, who wrote and directed it. Um, it's a neo-noir comedy buddy cop sort of thing. And it's just, it's incredible. I love Robert Downey and Val Kilmer together. I wish that this movie had done much better in the, thea in the theaters because it would have been great if we'd gotten a whole series of Harry Lockhart, Gay Perry movies. Because their, their chemistry was fantastic. I loved the romance aspect. I loved the way it ended. There was such potential for a whole series of mysteries. It's also extremely slapstick. It's funny. It's clever. The mystery is really good. If you haven't seen Kiss Kiss Bang Bang before, please, I beg of you, check it out. Because it's an amazingly done movie. So, that's my top five Robert Downey Jr. list. I hope you guys have enjoyed, and I hope you approve or agree. If you don't, that's fine. I mean, there's plenty of Robert Downey love to go around. From Angie B. at Shay Colleen. Check you later.